What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with a tutorial for a tool you can use to create amazing new materials for use inside of your SketchUp models. So I actually already made a video on this on my other channel last week, but I really like the tool, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video on this channel as well, just because I'm really liking what you can do with it. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. One of the reasons that I wanted to go ahead and uh, make a video about this now is because this tool is free while they're running a beta and so I wanted to let all of you know about it so that you could download it and try it out. So the tool itself is called Mixer. It's a tool from the guys over at Quixel who are the same guys that bring you the Megascans material and model library. So the Megascans material and model library is a very detailed material and model library where you can download different models and things like that and bring them into, into your SketchUp models or other 3D modeling programs. But specifically, I wanted to talk about Mixer. And so you can get Mixer um, if you just log into the Quixel, or you just go to the Quixel website on quixel.com. At the top of the page, it says Mixer is now free for the duration of the beta. And you can click Get It Now, or you can click on Mixer. And so when you do that, what you can do is you can click in here and you can click Download Mixer. And you can see how my internet connection is not very fast, so this is dragging a little bit. But um, basically, this is a tool that allows you to take materials and blend them together to create other more realistic tools. So you can see there's a couple really cool images in here and I may do some more tutorials on this. Uh, people asked for some more over on the rendering channel so I will probably do those on my rendering channel which is youtube.com slash the rendering essentials. But um, if you go ahead and you download this and install it then we can check it out. So when you download and install this and you open it for the first time, it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna stay mostly with the sample mixes. We may create our own mix just for a second, just to give you an idea of what's possible. But um, for right now, there's some sample mixes in here that really kind of demonstrate what this tool can do. So to start off, let's go ahead and click on the Jungle Run floor. Um, and that's gonna be a material that they've created by stacking different materials on top of each other. So like for example, if I was to go in here and we'll talk about all these things in a second, but if I was to go in here and turn all of this off, you can see how this is taking multiple different materials and other things and combining them together to create a new material. And so this allows for really cool options when creating different materials. So instead of just being able to create like a tile floor or something like that, and I don't know if there's a way I can just turn this off for a second. I don't think there is. Um, but um, instead of being able to just create a regular tile floor, you could take this and you could stack um, the roots and the grass on top of this in order to create an all new material. And so one thing I really like about this is this is all editable, meaning all you have to do is use these sliders over here to adjust the way that these different things look and how they're coming together. So you can see how I can drag like the threshold up and down to get the height of the tiles set up. I can adjust the radius to adjust different things about the way this looks. And really, um, like I said on my other video, your best bet on this one is to just uh, just kind of play around with this until you get the look that you're going for. So you can see how I can use this to combine my different materials to do really interesting things. And so this works a lot like Photoshop does in the sense that it's basically taking a number of different materials and stacking them together in order to create an effect. So you can see how this is taking a tiles layer and then it's coming in here and it's adding things like this root ground material. And I think these are all materials that you can download from Megascans for free. There are free materials on that website. And I'll go back to that just for a second. Um, if you go to the Megascans library, which you can find on quixel.com, Megascans, Megascans library, there are some free materials and models you can download in order to play around with. I did a little bit with this one last week when we did our trans meter tutorial. Um, but you can take all of these and you can download them and you can import them into Mixer. And so you can see all of those different materials um, by loading up your local library. And so in this case, these are some of the materials that I've downloaded and brought into um, my library. Um, you can also link to the online materials. So all the different materials that are contained within Megascans library in here. I don't do as much with this just because I have a really slow internet connection. Um, that's not their fault, that's my fault. 
um, but you definitely have access to all of these different things but you can come in here and you can just kind of play around with this in order to create really whatever kind of materials you want to create and so we'll come back to this one in a second I think probably I'm actually going to export this one really quick. So you can export these with all the different maps and everything else. You can export these to your library to bring into your 3D modeling program or rendering program. So like for example, this one I would just probably put this in the ground category and I would just click save and you can see how down in the lower left hand corner what this is doing is this is exporting those different maps that I can then open up inside my 3D modeling program and so once I've kind of exported that what I want to show you real quick is just a real easy way to so before we do anything with that map I wanted to show you two things so the first thing I wanted to do was open up this broken tiles material just to give you kind of an idea of what's possible with the different maps and things like that inside of Mixer. So this is a material that's created with different materials and also different maps in here and so I'm going to go through and I'm going to turn some layers off just to give you kind of an idea of what's making this up. Um, so you can see how when we start off this material is actually a concrete material that then has a displacement map applied to it and so you can see how this displacement map is actually editable so you can come in and paint on this so you can kind of customize the way these things look um, but you can see how these are all kind of stacked together in order to create a brand new material so you can see how this has a rough concrete material in here and also what it has is it has a mask on top of that concrete material that's hiding those different tiles and so what this is doing is this is stacking these different maps on top of this layer so like for example this one is hiding the different tiles that are contained in here so you could come in here with this and you could paint out these different tiles if you wanted to in order to show or hide different tiles depending on what look you're going for so and then on top of that there's a gravel layer that's being placed in here and you can adjust things like the threshold of that gravel layer so you can bring that up or down or adjust the radius to adjust how much gravel is showing up on top of this so just really editable really easy to uh, really easy to use you can create some noise on this to make this gravel look a bit more random and so you can see how all I'm having to do is just make some minor adjustments to really kind of adjust the way that this looks. And so you can create your own mixes too by just going up to File, New Mix, and you could name this whatever you want. You know, let's say we wanted to create like a road or something like that. We just name that road, we'll leave our resolution at 2048 and we'll click OK. And um, all we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to start adding layers. So in this case, for example, um, I've got a road material that I've brought in actually from elsewhere from an external source and that's one thing to note as well is you're not just limited to the stuff in the mega scans library though the mega scan stuff is really good but you can come in here and you can adjust the intensity of the maps and things like that you can see how I'm not necessarily quite getting the look that I'm going for so you could come in here and you can add a noise layer and what a noise layer would allow you to do is that would allow you to take this and give it some more up and down so you can see how you can adjust these sliders to make this more up and down and then let's say for example that we wanted another layer up above like let's say we thought there would be some moss on this or something like that you could bring moss in and you could adjust that threshold there and you could drop it below the noise layer in order to get it to kind of follow the ups and down here so you can see how I can adjust this to add moss to that tire track material and you can see how with the way the displacement is working the moss is actually kind of growing up through those tire tracks and there's other things you can add in here as well so like for example let's say you wanted this to look more wet you could add a liquid layer
in order to make this look more like a wet material. And let's say we wanted this to more puddle, what we would do is we would just drag this up above the noise layer. You can see how you can adjust the threshold on there to make more of a, a wet puddly type material. And you could also add moisture to this. So if you wanted some of this to look more moist, you could adjust the threshold there. It's just a ton of different things that you can play around with in order to create interesting new materials. And all of these materials can then be saved and then used again in the future. But let's go ahead, but let's go ahead and go into SketchUp and kind of mess around with this really quick. And so let's go ahead and add this as a material inside of SketchUp and then see what we can do with the displacement map and everything else. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna click the Create Material button and I'm gonna click on the Browse for Material Image File. So we're just gonna go into the Mixer Mixes folder and um, all of those maps should be loaded in here. And I can kind of preview those, but you can see how the one that we want to load in to SketchUp is the diffuse map. So I'm just going to double click on this. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to apply that to this face. And the first thing you're going to notice is you've got a ton of tiling in here because the material is too small. So we're just going to go in here and we're just going to adjust this. And I'm probably going to adjust it up to about 10 or 12 feet or really what I probably should do is I should probably just make this smaller because this is probably a little bit too big so we'll just scale this down and then we'll reapply that material to this face and so what we want to do is we want to render this in V-Ray in order to take a look at what the different maps do and everything else so if we start off and we just do an interactive render just to kind of preview this you can see how it's not going to look like anything special right like it's just kind of a flat plane with uh, some stuff on it really and uh, it's just basically an image applied to a flat plane and so what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to apply the different maps and so to apply the maps you're just going to click in the asset editor and inside the asset editor you're going to find your material and it may help if you rename your material so like jungle floor that's what I would rename this. That makes it easier to find in this list, but we just need to go in and we need to load our different maps that were created when we exported this. And so if you remember, this created multiple different maps, including a displacement map, an ambient occlusion map, a diffusion map, all of these different things. So let's go in and start loading these in. So, so like for example, the glossiness map we can load in we can go find the gloss map by double clicking on it here. You know, down under the maps option down below, we can add in both the uh, normal map as well as the displacement map that were created. So we're gonna start off and we're just gonna click the drop down and select normal map. And then we're gonna go find our normal map. And then under displacement map, we're gonna go in and we're gonna find our displacement map. And so if you look now at your preview over here, you can see how you're getting a lot more up and down on this. And you can actually adjust the amount of up and down and in and out based on that displacement map you're gonna get by adjusting this value right here. But let's go ahead and do another render real quick and see what this is gonna look like now as opposed to what it looked like before. So we're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna click the button for, we'll do render with V-Ray. We don't really need this to be an interactive render. And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna render this with those maps included. And you can see how now, with those maps included, you're getting a lot more up and down in here than you were before. So this is looking a lot more realistic. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this as an interactive render just so we can, uh, just so we can rotate down and kind of see what that displacement map is doing. So you can see how that displacement map is loading this as kind of an up and down in here. And I even want this to be more pronounced. So let's go ahead and jump this up to something like four just to see what it does so if i do that to four you can see how this material is getting loaded in here and you're getting the real kind of ups and downs of um, 
of the different routes and things like that. And so if we zoom out and we look at this now, you can see how you're getting shadows off of this. You're getting kind of a really realistic look um, based on this material. And so you could take this and you could apply it to like a full on jungle floor or things like that and create some really interesting things. So that's where I'm going to end this video. This should give you a pretty good overview of what this is capable of, but I'd recommend downloading it and giving it a try. I've been having a lot of fun with it, clearly because I've made two videos about it in like five days. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.